This is a worksheet data entry form that you can download on my website. And today I'm going to show you how you can change the code if you want to change the worksheet names. This is Deborah Dalglish from Contextures.com. Before you make any changes to the code, you should create a backup copy. And you can see here that I'm working on a copy of the original file. Just in case things don't go well, you can always go back to your previous version. Now in this workbook, you can select an order ID and see the information about that order. We're working on an input sheet here and all the data is stored over here on parts data. Now some people want to adapt this technique to their own workbooks where the sheets are not called input and parts data. So for this or for any other workbook where you want to change the sheet names, here's how we'll do that. To see the code, I'm going to right click on one of the sheet tabs and click view code. And this takes us into the Visual Basic for Applications. And at the left, you can see the Project Explorer. And here's the workbook that we're in right now. You can see the name. And there's a folder with all the Excel objects and a folder with all the modules. We're looking at the code for the input sheet. You can see the name that's on the sheet tab right here. But in front of that, there's another name. If I click on this down at the bottom, you can see in brackets name. This is the code name that Excel uses in the background for that sheet. When you create a sheet at first, it might just be called sheet two. And I didn't change that one. I left it as is, but you can change those names to something more meaningful. So these three have all been changed. In the code, we can see some references to the input sheet. So if we're going to change our sheet names, Excel won't recognize input anymore. We can change this code in one of two ways. We can go through and change all the instances where the sheet name inside double quotes, we replace the old one with the new one. That's just a find and replace. The other thing we could do to make this more flexible in case we want to change sheet names sometime in the future is instead of using this name that is on the sheet tab, we use this code name that Excel will always understand no matter what the sheet tab says. So I'm going to show the easy way first, which is just a find and replace. And then I'll also show you how to replace this worksheets and name reference and use this code name instead. The sheet name in the sample file where you enter the data is called input. I'm going to change that to orders because that's what I'd like in my workbook. So now we're going to go to the code and anywhere we had input as the sheet name, we're going to change it to orders. I'll go back into the view code. We can see one example here. I'm going to do a find and replace. And this is what I want it to look for. I want to make sure to include the double quotes as well because I've got input in other places in my code and I don't want all of that replaced. I just want this string that's the sheet name. So I've selected that and I'm going to press Control C to copy that. Then I want to do a find and replace. The shortcut is Control H or you can go up to edit replace and there you can see the shortcut. That opens our replace window and in here it's got the remains of a previous find that I did. It's showing input and if it didn't have that I could do control V to paste. What I want to replace that with is our new name which we can see here orders. Double quote orders and double quote. Now I want to not search just in this procedure that I'm in or just this module. I want to search through the entire project. So everything in this workbook project that's selected. And over here, I'm going to click replace all. And very quickly, it tells me that it has done nine replacements. I'm going to click OK. You can see orders here instead of input, which we had before. And I select a new order number. Everything's working properly. 
The method that we just used to change the code works, but it's temporary. If you change the sheet names again, you would have to come back into the code, find all the old sheet names and replace them again with the new sheet name. The method that I'm going to show you now, people will be able to change the sheet names as often as they want and you won't have to make any further changes to the code. We're going to use not these sheet tab names, but this code name that Excel uses in the background. We'll do find and replace again, but put a little different information in those boxes. In this example, we're going to change the other sheet where the parts data is stored. Right now it's called parts data and I'm going to change it to orders list. And now we'll make a change to the code. Here's what we're going to be working with anywhere we have worksheets, parts data. And I'm going to select all of that and control C to copy. Then control H to open the replace dialog. It's already got this text in it, but control V if it's not there. Now in this box, replace with, we want to use the code name for the sheet that used to be called parts data. Over here, we can see all the sheet names. This is the sheet we want to change. I'm going to control C to copy that code name. Then click on the code module to activate it. Click on the replace dialog box. And in here, control V to replace the existing text with the code name. Make sure that current project is selected and click replace all. We can see it made eight replacements. I'll close this and go back to the workbook. And on the order sheet, I'll select a different order and it changed the order ID so things are working correctly. So you can use either of these methods to change the sheet names in your macros. Either just change the text for the old sheet name to the new sheet name. That's quick and you can do it again if you ever change the sheet names in the future. Or instead of putting worksheet and the sheet name, replace all of that with the code name for the sheet. And then you can change sheet names later without having to change the code. Thanks for watching this video. You can go to my website, contextures.com, to get this workbook. And please subscribe to my Contextures YouTube channel so you can see the latest videos as I post them.